In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a certain type of equation called a rational equation. And as the name suggests, basically it just means you have an equation that has rational expressions on one or both sides of the equal sign. So for example, I'll just make one up here. Uh, 3 over x minus 2 equals 1 plus 4 over x plus 5. Now I just kind of made that up at random. I don't know how nice the solutions are or whatnot, but it's an example of a rational equation. So there's a certain x out there most likely that will make the left side equal the right side if you plug in that x. Now it's not obvious at all what that x is. You can't just look at this guy and guess what that x is, but there is a systematic way that you can go through and get to your final answer. Now one thing that's a little odd about rational equations is it's very possible using the method that we're gonna use that you might get an answer that's actually invalid. It's, it's uh, kind of a strange thing. So for example, if x was four or nine or negative eight or 17 or any of those numbers, those would be fine. But if x was possibly two or negative five, we'd be in trouble because you can't plug in two here because it would give you division by zero and you couldn't plug in negative five here because it would give you division by zero. So if you do the math and you get an answer like that, that's what's called an extraneous solution and we have to be on the lookout for those. But we'll, we'll talk more about those in, in just a minute. So anyways, what is this method? What, what is this approach that helps us solve equations that look like this? Well, here, here's your steps. Um, step one is you're gonna multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD of all of those rational expressions that you have. What that's gonna do is it's gonna get rid of all the fractions that you have so that your new equation will be easier to solve. All right, once you get rid of the fractions by multiplying through by the LCD, the next step is to solve whatever equation you get next. Um, it should be easier to solve because it doesn't have fractions, but it, it might be a linear equation, it might be a quadratic equation, who knows what it is, but you should be able to solve that. Now, the answers that you get are basically your answers. Those are the answers for the original equation. With one exception, you do have to be on the lookout for those extraneous solutions that we were just talking about. Um, but we'll, we'll show you more about those when the time comes. So we're gonna have another video where we do some, some more robust examples. But for this video, let's, let's at least go through one kind of lighter example, just to show you how some of this math works. All right, so let's, Let's try this one here. We have x over x plus 2 uh, equals, um, I'm sorry, x over x plus 2 plus 4 equals 4x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. So here I see some rational expressions on both sides. The first thing I'm going to do, as I said earlier, is find the LCD. Now here I only have two denominators and they're even the same thing. They both have a denominator of x plus two. So it's pretty clear that is gonna be my LCD. It's gonna be x plus two. So we're gonna multiply that through the left side and the right side. Jot, jot that down real quick. x plus two and x plus two. We'll distribute along the left side. First term, the x plus twos cancel and you just get an x. Then we get a 4x, um, well here, I'll, I'll write it out for, just for your notes, four parentheses x plus two equals, and on the right hand side, the x plus twos cancel, and you would get 4x plus six. All right, looks good, because this and this cancel. Next up, clean up the left hand side, maybe distribute the four, we'll have x plus four, 4x plus 8 equals 4x plus 6. x and 4x make 5x plus 8 equals 4x plus 6. Um, this is a linear equation, which you should be really good at solving by now. Linear equations, as you well know, uh, you put the variables on one side and the constants on the other. So we'll subtract 4x to the left. 5x minus 4x just give us x. And we'll subtract the 8 to the right. 
So 6 minus 8 is negative 2. And this right here is your answer. This is your solution to the rational expression. But wait, all right, so I, I kind of I kind of cheated. I kind of picked this example on purpose because I wanted to show you this in particular. If this was any other number, it really would be your solution. But notice, look at the original equation in yellow. Negative 2 is not allowed to be plugged into that original equation because it would give you division by 0. Notice you have x plus 2 in a denominator. So if you tried the very first step, negative 2 over negative 2 plus 2, that would give you negative 2 over 0, which is undefined, as you well know. So even though this guy looks like a solution, this is actually what we call an extraneous solution. Now, they're kind of rare. We don't see them all the time, but we do see them. Now, did this mean that we made a, a mistake somewhere? Did we mess up? Absolutely not. No, we, we did not. Um, but it, this solution did get introduced throughout the process of our algebra. Since it's not allowed, since it's an extraneous solution, we have to toss it out like it was never even there. So this particular equation has no solution. Okay. Now, if we had gotten x equals negative 3 or x equals 7 or x equals 19 or any other number, that would have been our solution. But because it equaled negative 2, this one doesn't have a solution. So anyways, we'll do a few more of those. Um, in, in the next video, but hopefully now at least the process makes a little bit more sense for solving rational ex uh, equations. You get rid of the fractions, you solve your new equation that you get that doesn't have fractions, and then you just make sure those solutions actually work out.